Hello. Hello and welcome to the special feature of the making of Fever, Fever Dream. Nothing really matters. So Fever Dream has become a very special part of uh, the Heart Collector current. Um, it's a song that's very close to us because uh, at the end of our last tour in the United States, uh, Kim fell really sick and um, so much so that it took her a long time to get home. The boys came home, but her and her mama stayed in the United States for a, a period of time until she was well enough to travel. And so when she came home, Part of her t healing process was just to sit at Nana's old piano in the house. Um, even before we were able to rehearse and get back to writing music and playing, um, she'd just sit there and tinker along at the piano. And so the, that whole period for Kim was part of her healing process from that really extreme experience. And the chords to Fever Dream came out of sitting at the piano. So the vision for this film clip came from the text that Kimri sent through in the middle of the night and we were all awoken and said, guys, here we go, Fever Dream film clip. We're gonna she, do it. She listed everything that we needed in the next coming weeks and um, one like, of them was a sailboat. So <laughs> and a piano on a sailboat. Piano, and sailboat, Overnight tarps, shoots and um, lights. <laughs> we didn't have access to the sailboat so we, we filmed off the beautiful headlands where we are and with the morning sunrise, the music behind it creates the mystery. When we actually got to the headlands at the morning, just as the sun was coming, the force of the waves and the mist pushing towards us, it was all we could do just to stand there and- In awe. Like, this and is an amazing light. This is an amazing space. We are truly blessed. This landscape is so inspiring and so powerful and everything about nature in that morning and afternoon when we were filming was with us mm. nature was working with us the animals the birds the dolphins everything was um coming to support and be part of the creation of the video for this clip we were able to fulfill a lifelong dream of ours to take piano onto the beach <laughs> But it wasn't a new piano, so don't get too worried. It was a beautiful old piano that was at the end of its life. And so we were able to give it new life in this video. And also it's now resting in its beautiful new place in a record store. Record store. <laughs> uh, it's been upcycled twice. Yeah, it was lots of fun. We, uh, we had lots of fun taking it apart. It was a very unconventional dismantling. Don't freak out, it was definitely unplayable. And it was done with respect. respect and by professionals, love. don't do this at home. The dress. The dress. The dress was a vision that I had that I needed to find. So I went scouting up and down the coast and there was a particular little vintage shop it is a beautiful wedding dress so thank you and it has been upcycled again to uh, be dyed I dyed it in our washing machine a soft pink and yeah it is also very very heavy when it's wet the first day of filming we got up at 4 a.m. we then headed out to the coastline um, with our brilliant film producer John Latomi and our dear friend Akaius, who also doubles as the double or nothing coffee man. So we Woo! make his coffee and he brings, brings his drone out and off we go. So flies a drone way up high, gets those beautiful landscape shots that you see in the film clip. So check it out. and then the, you could see the stars and the city 
lights, but um, we were dressing, we got ourselves down on these rocks, and as the sun rose, uh, we used Caius's drone, and John was filming, and we captured the sunrise and a whole pot of dolphins. I'm not sure if it, they're going to feature in the film clip, but they actually were swimming like right here. And they were jumping in the water. Ooh. And it was so magical because, like, this is a, a special song, and it's one that doesn't really um, matter about, like, portraying ourselves or who we want to be or anything, but it's more just um, being present and given over to the breath and the feeling of being alive and it was beautiful and this morning we are alive getting the piano on the beach was a question yes, we, yes. you've been asking and we're here to answer that for you and right the now. one thing was it's really there it's not just photoshop that we have a group of very strong men in this band <laughs> which comes in handy for lifting a piano across sand, sand dunes. into the wet water plus we had a couple of extra help other us. strong guys to <laughs> help us lift it Luckily, uh, at the end of the event, um, we had some very friendly and kind um, locals, Roscoe and Nell, who were there. Well, thank you guys so much for helping because we Coming. did have to get one car onto the beach to take the piano off because it was getting very sinky and heavy. And uh, if it wasn't for those guys, we might have lost the piano to the ocean. Come on, 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 but we didn't and it was beautiful and we made it back on shore and the piano is now happy in its new home. Yes. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you for watching. Thank you so much for watching. All of those views count. Oh my God, almost 20,000. We are so Woo! grateful and we hope we've answered all your questions. Mm -hmm. If you have more, send us a message. We're happy to answer any more that you may have. Absolutely. Couldn't say better myself. So thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>